Hello everybody and welcome back to EverQuest 2 House Hunter. I've got three properties to share with you today. They're all pretty traditional and there's a lot of inspiration to be found. The first one that we're going to look at is a small home. And let's see, I want to make sure that we do overall creative. And it is called Cozy Froglock Pad. And the owner is Mumbles. Now this property is a two-room apartment. Now, the owner, I'm guessing, is a froglock, and a lot of their friends are visiting at the moment, so we're going to try not to wake her uh, <laughs> as she sleeps in the bay window. Uh, but you can see they've got this gorgeous carpet covering the uh, wood floor, and uh, it makes it cozy all on its own. Now this corner of the room, we have a small little kitchenette, perfect for a frog lock, I would say. Little stove, something cooking, we've got all kinds of baked goods already, cute table. These windows are really unique, I like those, they're stained glass. And we've got a cozy little living room corner. And we've got even room for a grand piano. And as we come into the next room, you see that it has been, uh, that there's a wall that's been put up. And this one is just a, uh, I guess it could be a unsecondary dining room. It could be a game room. We've got a couple of folks sitting here at the table having something to drink. And And this room in the back is the bedroom. We've got a gorgeous bed and we've got... <laughs> Hello there! But it's very cozy and we've even allowed space for a quite comfortable restroom here in the back. I like that toilet and the toilet roll. That's cool. I mean, for a two-room apartment, this is really well done. We've even got a clock over the door. If you read the text in the chat, apparently these fellows are waiting on somebody. It's like, uh, let's play cards. Enough waiting. <laughs> So, oh, oh, I'm so bored. <laughs> so apparently, the owner is who they're waiting on, I would imagine. So we're going to give this one a like. Along the same vein, the next property is a medium home. But this one is in a uh, Freeport. It is a four room and it's called Town Home. And the owner of this property is Angawin. So let's take a look at this one. Now right at the entrance, we see this wonderful is this a cloak? Oh, Cruz's Tapestry. That's nice. I like the, uh, the touch of this glowing and the, just the details in it. It's very nice. All right, here we go. And as you come into this home, one of the first things I noticed is the walls are literally covered in every painting. Now there is teleport here. 
But we're going to walk through the house initially before we check that out. But look at the walls. There's just a different painting. They're mostly the same size grouped. And this is very well done. It's, it's just like an art gallery museum. And each one, of course, this is Child of Thunder, a personalized and very beautifully done portrait by the renowned C.M. Brushwaddle. <laughs> so you could go along at your leisure and you could check out what each of these are. And of course, we can't forget the sculptures. And oh, look at that fireplace. This is a very uh, masculine room. I'm getting that kind of a vibe. Um, just the colors of the upholstery and the type of fireplace. And the mugs on the coffee table. I just can't get over all these paintings. Oh, and look at this one. It's Kinos, and he is in Freeport. Kind of, kind of makes you wonder about that one. All right, we're gonna go into this room first, I think. Now, I have not been past that first room, so this is all new to me. Oh, it's a nice dining room. And they've got it separated by these uh, stone of adoration dividers. And then we have our kitchen here in the back. This is the first home I've seen where the kitchen has been on the right side of this layout. Oh, look. <laughs> We've got catch. we got a, a crab in there. Well, this is nice. And they've also put the tiles, the red marble tile, up on the ceiling. I like that contrast. And then on the other side, let's see, we have a, we have, okay, that's the entrance. So we've got one room over there, and here we've got this side, where we've got an upstairs on each side. Let's go to the right first. Boy, there's just more and more paintings. And we can go left and we can go right. Let's go up left, which is the outdoor patio garden. Oh, this is lovely. Beautiful day here in Freeport, which is very unusual. You would definitely want to take the time on a day like this and come out here and enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine. Now on this side, oh, this is the huge oh, bedroom, and we've even got a bathroom. Oh, that pillows would be a, that's a great addition to that tub. Oh, look at the shower. That's a beautiful shower. It's just a screen that they've used to create the shower. What is the top? Dalgar round platform. Well, that's really clever. Huh, well done. And we've got our, our bed with our rugs on each side to help keep the feet warm on those cold winter nights because hardwood floors can be quite chilly. Oh, and this is an extra build on top. That's all custom. 
Now let's see what's on this side, which is also custom. And there is another portal here. So we got, we have to check that out. There's also, is there a room behind here? Okay, that's storage. All right, let's go up here and just see. Wow, and this is the library slash office. Oh. I love this tile. This tile is, uh, this and the red marble uh, are perfect for displaying your lore and legend weapons and stuff. It just makes everything you put in front of them, makes it pop. But these are really cool tapestries they've got up on the walls also. Nice collection. And this armor set is gorgeous. Let's see, I guess we're going to have to do customize. This is mermaid scale. So you can get the complete set. I'm not sure where you get it from, but that is just gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's see uh, if we've got this room here. Look at, see here what they've done with the uh, tile. You can just see how, how these weapons pop out. And they have got a fine collection. I mean, it works really well for books. It works for anything. Oh, this is a beautiful room. I love this. It's a great idea. And you can pick up these tiles when Nariac has their city festival, and they just cost one or two city tokens. So you could easily pick up enough of them to do a whole room like this. Oh, that's just lovely. Okay, let me see what this is. Hidden room. Let's go there. What goes on in this room? Oh, this is their altar room. This is where they practice their deity stuffs and keep their private collections of things that they don't want just anybody to be able to see or take or mess with. Very nice. Okay, so if we go to the front door, now there was... Okay, does this one go anywhere else? No. Oh, broker? What is the broker? Oh, okay. So this is where you could come if you wanted to buy things. I got it. All right, we want to go back to the front. So this home is very lovely. So let's make sure that we give a like. The next property is a large home. And it is, in fact, the Uncanny Estate. None of these today are in the Hall of Fame. Now, it looks like perhaps they had been maybe in the past. I'm not sure. But for now, you will find this one under large homes. And the name of this one is a musical and library. And the owner is a Shavana. So let's take a look. It's magical. It's that's the feeling I got. It's magical. Look up there, the top of the stairs. That is gorgeous. But just the, the walls, the, the colors that they, that they used. Oh, look. And we've got another. Oh, here. We can find out what this is on this side. But they've mixed a little holiday things in uh, with other items. 
is just really cool. And it looks like we have a sign. It says washroom. Beware of bubbles. Please knock before entering this area. Thank you. <laughs> well, we've got a lovely, lovely entrance parlor area. Now, this is a public space, I would guess. It's not a private home because it is uh, for music and the library, so for quiet. Looks like the library's to the right, so I'm guessing perhaps music is to the left, and I don't have any idea what would be upstairs. But let's go and see in here. Ooh. Well, it doesn't look like it's in use at the moment. Now, this might be playing music, but I cannot hear it because otherwise I'm not sure what this is. I don't know, but that is really kind of cool. I like these pillars too, the designs on them, the colors of them. Very elegant. All right, well. Let's go in. I want to see what this is here. See, because it's, it's some kind of a window. Because you can see this beautiful tile behind it. Square Jester's View Window Pane. Oh, that's beautiful, though. The colors, I love it. It's just magical. All right. And this looks like the entry into library. Just the the colors and the layering that's been done. Oh, and look at this room. Oh, this is really nice. Wall-to-wall -wall book collections. We've even got some art stations, a couple of chairs with maps and goodies. I just love this. Looks very nice. And they've even got one empty bookcase here. I guess they have room to add to their collection. Although what books they could possibly be missing, I couldn't say. <laughs> They've, they've resized some of these to be quite little. Turned them into interesting bookends. I love that. Even here, little miniature books. All right, let's go check out the other side. Oh, and even if you look up, see beautiful windows. Oh, love it. All right, and we have a little room in here. What is this? This is just a space for... Ooh, that's a pretty globe. This is another jester item. A conf These must be new items. I don't recall them. And this book here, what is this? Oh, that's the conservatory book. All right, I'm going to guess this is music. I don't know. Oh. Oh, look at the floor. That is unique the way they have done this. I like this with the color tiles. So we've got a little dance floor. What do we have over here? Anyone want a McDonald's? Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Can we all now uh, act mature? Uh, Mr. Grump says, Welcome to the VIP room. Wow. Okay, so I'm, I am special. Look at all these different drinks. Eldar mug. Classic Frostville. Candy striped Frostville. Fizzy mug. Yeah, 
guess that's the, those are the same. Very cool. Love that. Now we have another room here. Oh, okay. So this is the service area? Oh, this is the game area. Okay, this is behind this dude. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, wow. We've got all kinds of things to look at. So, here you can order stuff or pick up your food and drink. And this is where the magic happens with the cooking. I did it. This party's a success. <laughs> oh. She's cooking. She's washing the dishes. She doesn't seem to happy about it. That's behind the bar over there. Oh, this is great. And then we've got a ramp. What's up here? Oh, private dining. Oh, and look, we've even got like booths built out of marble stairs. Oh, that's quite unique. Okay, so that's the back of the house, but it looks like it, these guys, if you're VIPs, you could you could go back there. All right, let's go upstairs and see what's going on up there. I love these stairs, the way they've put the tiles. Again, that beautiful, beautiful frame. All right, let's go up this way. And they've, they've carried the tiles all the way to the top. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay. Got a beautiful little fireplace. Oh, it's a bedroom suite. With a toilet? Well, that's kind of odd, but maybe this is where the workers sleep. But why would they have a toilet in the bedroom? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm confused. But okay, it's a beautiful room. Uh, the bed is lovely, too. Okay, this is this is different. Yes, yeah, very. Okay, and then then come down this way, and we've got another room. Hello, Plumwit. Hello, Plumwit. This is a lovely room. Okay, so. That'd be interesting. Okay, and we will continue this way. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got a lot happening here. Let's go uh, up first. We've got some bookcases. Now this looks like it might be I'm not sure what it would be for. This is crafting here for sure. And then we've got stairs, more stairs that go up. And there's another bedroom area. So all of this must be perhaps for the staff. That's what makes sense to me. And then this down here. Okay, so this is mu the music section. And they've created this musical note sheet. Look at that. Oh, that's great. And here as well, they use for that. 
a mossy briarwood railing and uh, a rounded tile of same. And who are you? Oh. It says, away now, pay up. Time is money, friend. <laughs> Time. <laughs> you don't look like a goblin. Oh. It's very cool. And then down this side, we have another room here. We do. Oh, now this is a magical room. Hello there, Pony. I saw you a little bit ago. You are gorgeous. Look at this bed. Oh, and this table. Oh. <gasps> Undertow Palace table. Oh, I love that. With the vase on top and the flowers in it. Now that is classy. In front of this window. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. We've got a little makeup area here with a vanity. So I got to give this a like. Well done, Shafana. Well, everybody, I want to thank you for joining me today. These homes really were inspirational, and i got to try to get hold of some of those items I saw so that I can put them in my house. Please subscribe and give a like to the video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.